Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the video to get a bonus problem that's similar to this one. Alright, so we have 8 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 6 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. And this is equal to 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite a to the power of x as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x because 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x over now 6, this is equal to 2 times 3. So now I have 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x and this is equal to 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that is going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. I have this minus 2 to the power of x over 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. Now, 3 times x, that's obviously 3x, so I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 to the power of x over 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. And now, if I have something in the form a times b to the power of c, this is equal to a to the power of c times b to the power of c. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 to the power of x divided by now. 2 times 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now 2 to the power of 3x, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 2x. So I have this minus 2 to the power of x and I, and this is going to be divided by now I can factor out 3 to the power of x, and I have 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is simply 2 to the power of x minus, now 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is 1. And this is equal to 2. And the reason I wrote this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 2x is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3x, that's equal to, or sorry, it's not a, it's m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3x was equal to x plus 2x. So I rewrote this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 2x. All right, so now from our numerator here, I'm going to factor out 2x. So now I get 2x times 2 to the power of 2x minus 1. Now I've, in our denominator, I still have 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x minus 1. Now 2 to the power of 2x, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of x squared. And then I have minus 1 squared. And I have this over 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 2. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 2 to the power of x squared minus 1 squared, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x plus 1 times 2 to the power of x minus 1. Now I have this over 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x minus 1, which is equal to 2. So now, these two can simply cancel out. So I'll be left with 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now, if I divide both sides by 3 to the power of x, these two will cancel out. And I'll be left with 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of x.
All right, so now I can set 2 to the power of x equal 2 and 2 to the power of x plus 1 equal 3 to the power of x because this is in the form a, a number times a number is equal to a number times a number. So we could say 2 to the power of x is 2 and 2 to the power of x plus 1 is 3 to the power of x. So now if 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2, now 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So now if 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x, meaning x has to equal 1. So that is one solution to this problem. Now another solution is 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of x. And we are actually not going to solve this. We are simply going to plug in 1 for x and see if it's true. So now I have 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 1. Now 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so I have 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 is simply 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, so I have 3 equals 3, meaning our solution is right. So now for our bonus problem here, we have 27 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 82. So now I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x over 3 squared to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 82. And now I will have 3 to the power of 3x minus 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 2x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 82. Now 3 to the power of 3x is the same thing as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2x. Then I have this minus 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 82. Now I can factor out 3 to the power of x. So I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over, again, I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x. So I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 82. Now 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2x is the same thing as 3 to the power of x squared minus 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. Now I have this over 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 82. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, it's equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x plus 1 times 3 to the power of x minus 1. all over 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 1. Then these two cancel out, and these two cancel out. So all I'll be left with is 3 to the power of x plus 1. And remember, this is equal to 82. So now if I subtract 1 on both sides, I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 81, meaning x is equal to 4.